and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the continuation of our Jace adventure. We have uh, defeated the first two champions or paths, whatever you want to call them, or adventures, I guess. Uh, we had Lulu and then Gangplank, and now we are on to Ezreal. Ezreal is up next. Um, so kind of looking, you know, still the same starting deck. We got Jace. We do have the Relic item slot now, the common item slot, because we defeated Gangplank, or at least we got enough for the level up. Let's see, what do I hit? I probably hit this thing. Yeah. So, you know, kind of looking at your uh, reputation ranks, um, you know, if you watch like that through that Gangplank one, we got, we're going to have a random starting item now. So a common item on one of the, on one card and then a common relic slot. So that's this thing over here. And so you can see we've earned two commons and two rares so far. Whenever you defeat Gangplank, you earn a random common relic item, but you can defeat Gangplank with all of your all of your champions and keep earning random common items. You can try to find one that, that you really like. Um, so far, I got Spell Shield from beating it with uh, Caitlyn and now, because I've done Caitlyn a little bit, so like I've gotten, I've gotten these rares and, and the common from Caitlyn, and now with Jace, we earn this regen. So we can either get regeneration or Spell Shield. These are two options because our slot can only hold a common. I think I'm going to choose Spell Shield because uh, we are going to Ezreal. Ezreal, Piltover, and Zaun, lots of Mystic Shots. Um, you know, Spell Shield sounds pretty cool, but Regen's also pretty cool. But we'll go with, with uh, Spell Shield. All right, so let's continue our adventure. Here we go. Here's our world map. We're back to Piltover and Zaun. We did Ionia, Bilgewater, now PNZ, over to Ezreal. All right, so let's see what we get. What's our power going to be? All right, so we do have the two rerolls now because you know we have the reputation enough with Jace to be able to get some rerolls, so we could reroll these if we want. Um, I like hold them off though. The thing, like hold them off, is a really, really strong power. Just frostbite the strongest enemy every round. That power is really good. So we'll we'll go ahead and take that. That one looks pretty good. All right, first one, Hextech Observatory. Game start, all players summon a Hextech Observatory, which is a three mana landmark. Each round, the first time you cast a spell, refill mana equal to its cost, not even spell mana. Okay, so the first spell we play, and our opponents, you know, everybody, the first spell is, uh, gets your mana refilled. Okay. So this hand looks pretty good. I mean, the Sky Cruiser, we're, you're going to mulligan 100% of the time. We talked about that one before. That one's always a mulligan. These, uh, you can kind of go either way. I think we'll keep the assembly line, send the Shock Blast back. So it looks like maybe we just kind of save mana the first two rounds. But we do have the Forge Chief, which the Forge Chief is like saving spell mana, right? Because it's assumed that it hits. They really wanted us to have these cards. They really want us to have the Sky Cruiser and Shock Blast, it looks like. <laughs> Golden Crush Bot, also another one that you mulligan 100% of the time. Tristana, we did play Tristana on Monday, on Meme Tier Monday. We played a Tristana Dreadway deck. Um, I think I think the Tristana was good, though. Like I think Tristana is a pretty strong champion right now. It has a... Uh, has a deck building restriction with just like a small subsect of cards to play with it. But I think it's pretty strong. I guess we're going to play one of these Sky Cruisers. So we know they're going to get Frostbit. Round start. Oh, I didn't check what my common item was, but it looks like... Okay, so my com... You know, I forgot about that, because we have a, a common item on one of our random cards. It looks like it's the Forge Chief, and the, the Forge Chief has this Targon's Brace as the power. Okay. Get another Shock Blast in there, and that should do. GG. 
GG's. So now we get our... Oh, Battle Rewards, two copies of a card? I mean, I'll just... Like, is this even a... Like, a competition? Like, what, am I supposed to choose Caustic Cast? I mean, I'll just take the Champion. Like, I guess we'll have some Jinxes in our deck. Alright, but this should be our secondary champion, our, our real secondary champion. So we can have Lux, Sejuani, or Gangplank. Um, man, these are good. I guess we just choose Lux, right? You know, playing a Jace deck like that has our six mana spells. It just kind of seems like we're fit to be a Lux deck, I suppose. So, And then we also get Remembrance as well. Okay, so we have two paths to go on if we choose... Uh, Jade Medarda, we're going up here, and if we choose Eye of the Dragon, we're going down here. Now, one thing that I didn't notice at first and just kind of learned recently um, that I didn't even re realize whenever we recorded the other videos is to always kind of watch out for, because I was thinking like, you, you know, you want to learn like about the two, um, you know, what, what you're going to be facing. You know, I talked about that of like, you know, read what their powers are, see which ones, you know, maybe a little easier or, you know, see which one you want to face. But then also, the borders of the modules, or whatever these things are, um, tell you something. You know, it's like these are all kind of random things. You can see um, Karma ha is a boss and has like this, you know, it's a halfway boss, has this big border. Um, <clears throat> Jay Medarda is, and I the Dragon, and this one that we just had, these are normal encounters. You can see like this little half um, border for the normal encounters. And so kind of looking, looks like you're going to have a normal encounter right here, um, normal encounter right there, normal encounter over here. Okay, so that that's something to kind of be um, on the eye, the eye out for, looking out for whenever you're choosing your path. Because look at this one. This one actually has that same kind of border like Karma. So this is like a, you know, a mini boss, okay? Like Karma's like your, um, you know, like the... Uh, the midpoint boss. This, so this is like a mini boss. And I guess after mini bosses, you get powers. After any time you get fight a boss fight, you get a power. Um, I think that's how that goes. So we're going to take this route with Eye of the Dragon down here. Because I, I want to try to fight this boss and then get a power afterwards. Um, I think that J Medard is an easier one. You know, if you're just looking at, you know, which one's easier... Jay Medarda just says, create a fleeting Sumpworks map, rising spell force, or suit up in each player's hand, and they cost one mana for that round, because they're fleeting. Or this is whenever the folk has a spell, then they get a Dragling, like one time. They get a 3-1 Dragling. So I haven't actually fought this Eye of the Dragon, but that sounds kind of tough. I've always I've always gone this way, the Jay Medarda, but chat was like pointing out that this is going to be another boss fight where we get a new power. So let's try going this way and see uh, see what this is all about. Il Mengalar, hello, hello. Yep, good to be streaming. Oh, we're gonna send back that Sky Cruiser and the Jinx, and we'll just keep Thermo Beam and Remembrance. Because, you know, like, looking for um, the cards that allow us to play something round one, round two, and still have the mana. So, you know, like, your Eager Apprentice and the new one bot. Or the new one drop. Sorry, I think it's, like, the guard. Good thing we have this power for frostbiting. Okay. Let's go ahead and Shock Blast. I want to kill this Eye of the Dragon, considering they are an Eye of the Dragon deck. No. I tried. So they cast a spell, they get a draggling. Man, that is pretty good. Alright, so we're gonna go Challenger Jace. This frostbite power with Challenger sounds pretty sweet. Good thing we got spell shield. I guess the spell shield does start to grow the sparring student just a little bit. That concussive palm did. Forge chief. Even at war, 
That's the name of the card. Would panicking help, brother? No, panic ne panicking never helps. Hey Rosa, so that was a different Eye of the Dragon, not the one that we knew about. Hmm. Man, how many of these Eye of the Dragons they got? Looks like they got a lot. Alright, Forge it tomorrow, and then I'd have four mana. Let's just go assembly line. My family was raised on this soil. Hmm. That was a terrible attack. I have realized now. That was a terrible attack. Yeah, I can't stop that. They can stop it, though. Man, what is going on here? We need your help, Golden Crush Bot. Would panicking help, brother? Man, that that other fight's much easier than than this Eye of the Dragon fight. Alright, so we're down to 16. That's not much life. Stop having Eye of the Dragons. Yeah, guys, is it, is it me or is Path of Champions pretty darn hard a lot of the time after the comment script ones? And yeah, they really did make it a challenge. It really is a challenge. Okay. We're starting to stabilize. Hey, Jinx. You insist on fighting when you could step aside. You cannot tell the wind to change direction. All right, so we're down to 13. All oh, right, they just do that. But they're at least out of cards, finally. And we got Gilded Jinx. But man, they took up half of our life total. I'm pretty sure it was a party before. Take zero damage, but they get the three one. And I can't empty my hand anymore. And that three one can just block the jinx. I don't get to empty my hand for the super mega death rocket. I assume. Oh, so we don't e we don't even get the second forge worker in this scenario. I'll take on anyone. For us, oh, Okay, S SG Yard says yes. Yeah, so you get unstable mana flow if you run if you end a run early, and that is true. Singular will. What is going on here? Man, this has been crazy. Anyway, yes, that is true. You do get that. Um, and that says. 
Do you get it if you unintentionally die on a run? I believe so. I I believe you still get it even if you unintentionally die on a run. Um, I think you have to beat like the first three um, to make sure you don't get it. You have to beat like the, the first three things that you face. And so it really punches people that are like I don't I don't understand why that's the case or you know why I don't I don't know <laughs> I don't know why that's the case, but it really does punish, um, you know, if you're struggling. Yeah, I feel like you're playing versus Lee and Zoe. I know, right? Man, this has been crazy. Okay. Shine with me. Not on my work site, Bob. Now's not a good time. Oh. It up. Okay, we got all three champions. We have this acceleration gate. Hey, so we know acceleration gate's gonna cost six mana, so I have ten, ten other mana. Play that. Replicating I guess maybe I should have done the Forge Worker plus that, but oh well. Lifesteal? Okay, the Jinx has Scout. That's a good one. And now we get Lifesteal with somebody. Nobody Lifesteal. Yeah, that's exactly. So yeah, as, as Jay says, it's a, so it's possible to continuously get that power if you are a newbie or get low rolls on your run. That seems like an oversight. I agree. That is definitely an oversight. They, oh my gosh, I just didn't attack with everything else because I was talk, I was talking about that power. Oh no. Anyway, I was gonna say, man, this has been crazy. I was gonna say that, uh, <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Um, yeah, I can't believe I just did that. Anyway, I, I was gonna say that, like, they should switch it from having to win the first three battles to only having to win, um, like, one battle. And, like, as long as you win the first battle, you don't get it anymore. Okay, so wasted an extra round, but we're not taking any damage, so didn't it's not gonna hurt us too much. But obviously I could have attacked for lethal the previous round, but we didn't take any damage. Whew! Man, that was a difficult, difficult fight. Especially for like the second one in the just in the level. That was a difficult fight. Like I said, okay, the other fight's much easier. I've always done the other fight before. That one's much easier. All right, concurrent timelines, Scythria with Challenger or Vagar. This is actually kind of tough. So we have three mana Vagar or con or zero mana concurrent timelines. Like, is concurrent timelines good? I don't know. I don't know if we want concurrent timelines or not. I'll just take the champion that costs one less, I guess. Okay, so we're facing the Practical Perfectionist is here. So hi, so my name's Kay. We can create three copies of one of these cards in our deck, which I don't really like any of them. So what else do we got? Or we can learn, we can, we can get um, two copies of this counterfeit copies that also draws a card, but I don't really like counterfeit copies either. So I'm actually going to pass here. So it's not always beneficial just to add cards to your deck. Because the more cards you add to the deck, then it's the less chance that you draw your champions and draw your best cards. Um, Eager Apprentice would be like the one that I could maybe see. Because we really like having like round two Eager Apprentice, round three, um, six mana spell. So I guess I could maybe see choosing Eager Apprentice. But three copies. You know, like we don't want Eager Apprentice in the late game. I'm just going to go ahead and leave. I don't really want any of those. All right, so what's this 
Silent Shadow Seer. So it's like a, it's a, has a rare power. When a unit dies, grant a random unit that play in that player's hand plus one plus one. Okay, so that works for both players. Whenever anything dies, okay. Okay, yeah. Herman says, I, s I saw Grappler playing Caitlyn on the Nautilus Trail yesterday. It's really tough for Caitlyn against the Scargrounds. And lost a couple of times in the second and third battle. And so then just got the that useless mana flow as punishment. Yeah, that that's definitely an oversight. I imagine that's going to be fixed soon. Because that's definitely an oversight. Alright, you're gone. And... Silent Shadow Seer? I think we keep everything else. I feel like Thermogenic Beam for like one could be good against a Silent Shadow Seer. Wait, why do these cost one? Oh, they do they all just cost one mana for them? Hmm. So I'm only at 13. I can't sit here and just, like, take those things. So that's still them having a unit die, so they get to grant something in their hand, plus one, plus one, like that. Man, this is pretty crazy. I think we may die here. I fight for a brighter tomorrow. I think we may die here. Guess we shoot that? So we have to do 30 damage before we get to 10. Yeah, sure. I guess. Take a look at this. Search that. This is not looking good. I can tell you that right now. Let's get started. So you don't really need Vagar anymore. Okay, so first, or it's, yeah, second, sorry. Second spell for Jace. Yeah, Golden Crush, yeah, Golden Crush bot. Pretty trash, and unfortunately we keep drawing Golden Crush bots. They are pretty trash. We are growing these golden crush, golden crush bots quite a bit. Man, I can't talk. Lux. Lux, come save us. Let the light guide you. Sure. I mean. <laughs> I don't think they realize that's not any good. Scared of those. 
What I am scared of... Hey, show me that again. So we had double Aurora Porealis? I've been hiding my life too long. Oh, so I'm not gonna have room... F okay, well, I, I guess I still get a final spark. Alright, so the second one didn't really do anything. I played this so I could get like these little poros to block these things. All right, Jinx getting big. A beacon through the dark. They always do that, uh, you know, like, let's go whenever they play a large unit, and my opponent has been playing a lot of large units. Interesting use of tech. So if we have double treasure trash, does that mean we can play six more cards this round? No, I don't think that's how it works. So I'm going to remember... Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I just wasted four damage on them, but we should still kill them anyway here. Okay. So, remember to actually attack with everything this time. Whew. Man, that was crazy. Okay, we've had some difficult battles here. I wasn't ready for this, like starting off the stream with these difficult battles. <laughs> I wasn't mentally prepared for this. Okay, this is where I think we may use our first reroll. I don't Cavalier, Spell Shields, useless, Fading Icon, draw a card. Pretty useless, this. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and use a reroll here. Don't need any of those. Okay, Vagar can be a 2-7. Um, or we can have that. Vanguard's Edge. Okay, it's one of those two. I like both of those. I guess Vilefeast isn't that bad either. What are we playing against? Ezreal? Own Dog Games with the Raid. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for the Raid. We are currently playing some Legends of Runeterra, playing the Path of Champions mode. We are facing Ezreal in this path. Um, We'll just choose the champion. Azroth! Thanks so much. I miss you too. Okay, so we get a new power for facing that like little mini boss. Fixer upper. Round start. Give your weakest ally plus three plus three this round. Well, that sounds awesome. Or we can just grant the weakest ally plus one plus one like permanent. Or we can start with the sparring student in play. I I'm gonna choose this fixer upper. I've never seen that power before. All right, what else do we get? Spell. Uh, definitely don't want that one. Trixie tentacles that draws a champion or unspeakable horror that costs one. I'll take unspeakable horror that costs one. All right, now we're definitely gonna heal our nexus. If you're trying to get that S skill, you know you can't be healing your nexus too much, but. That's not us. All right, and we're going to face Karma. So Karma is a, you know, a difficult uh, mid mid boss where Karma says that both players start with 10 mana gems. Therefore, since you start with 10 mana gems, cheap cards like this are not very um, useful. Like usually like with those cheap cards, you want them because you get to play them right away and you curve out. Well, if you start with 10 mana, you don't need those. So we're going to send both of those back. We'll keep... Vagar and back up Vagar. So that's what we're gonna do. Own dogs coming in here. So I've seen some of your videos on YouTube. Awesome. Had to bring the party. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for bringing everybody over here with the raid. Okay. 
So my plan right here now is just kind of like to dark, you know, increase the damage on this darkness. Get up where I can kill um, Karma, and I just kept like the backup Vagar for like whenever this Vagar dies. But honestly, I kind of feel bad for keeping that backup Vagar, especially since. Um, this is my call. Since we founded Jinx. Double Aurora Porealis? We just did that. Copier. Oh, wait. Maybe I, am I supposed to be blocking that Eager Apprentice? I'm trying to get cards out of hand for Jinx, right? Okay, yeah, y'all been doing Path of Champions? It's, dude, it is tough. Yeah, some of these battles can get real tough. Okay, we're leveling up our Jinx so we can get extra cards, so that's good, because we have all this mana, so we need cards. We can see they have a million cards in hand. And that's going to do some stunning. Alright, Jinx, help me out. Thank you. Not, no thank you. And they really like these concussive bombs. We will not stand by. Okay, 7-7 seven, seven block here. Take 6. Still take six. Super Mega Death Rocket. Boom. All right, so one more Super Mega De Death Rocket could like kill lots of stuff over here. Man, Golden Crush Bot, you are not very good. Do I actually want to... No, yeah, we'll just shoot this thing. Oh, that thing has regen? Hmm. Alright, maybe getting rid of that spell shield is useless. It has regen. Because I could have, like, made it so, like, this affection portal doesn't get to block. Oh, man, an Eye of the Dragon? Stop! These recalls. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know we'd get another Super Mega Death Rocket right there. Unfortunately, we were one mana short, but that would have been awesome to be able to kill that thing before it regen. Alright, got another Jinx. Oh no! I can't actually play Jinx though. What are, you, what are these Aurora Porealysis? Man, this stuff's crazy. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. Hmm. 
This will put me down to four. Which I think we can go to four. going to be a close one. That's the last of their mana. I'm gonna have five attackers. They have three blockers. I think we're gonna win. And whenever you beat the mid boss, you do get rehealed. We've had some tough battles here today. Yeah. GG's. Woo, that's tough. Okay. So we went through the the hard part. Oh, Golden Ages? What do we get? When we cast, grant the top ally of our deck, plus four, plus four. That's awesome. Ledros is cool, but nine mana is just too much. And then line them up, you get a one-cost Poro. That's not so bad either, but I'm going to take this Golden Ages. Especially how we have, like, Jinx and Jace and, like, some quick attack attackers. Woo, yeah, we need new power. Dragon's Rage, get some Fury. I don't really care. Like, this is a power I'll never choose, and this is a power I'll never choose. Like, I don't care about Sticky Fingers or Counterfeit Production. I never really choose either of those powers ever. Um, so it's really just like Dragon's Rage is useful having everything have Fury, but we can also pass and or like reroll. We have our one reroll left. Um, it may not be a bad time to reroll. Let's yeah, let's go and use it. Let's go and use it because like these powers, you can get some really good things that can change the game completely like these two sorcery nature's revenge both of these are awesome um nature's Re like i love nature's revenge getting a sapling every single round you know that's pretty epic as it says um sorcery though sounds really good for a jace deck if we're going to be spending all this spell mana if we have a lot of expensive spells getting free spell mana each round that does sound pretty intriguing and enticing. So I don't know. So that's every round. This is like every other round we get a sapling. Hmm. That's tough. That's actually tough. I kind of want to take the sorcery. I kind of want like a whole bunch of mana for our cards. Okay. So looking at the paths... This one afterwards is a champion item, and this one is just like a regular item chest. Either one can go to this peddler. I like champion items more than regular items. The Fey Blade Twirler stunned the player's weakest enemy each round start. And round start, the player shuffles their hand into their deck and draws that many. The player is that so is that like the opponent does that each time that is that me also like is that it doesn't say like both players it just says the player i've never found this fade blade twirler to be too difficult to defeat we'll just go this way because this way has the champion item okay oh and dog game says thinks it's thinks it's both of us yeah that's probably both players but anyway we'll just go this way for the champion item Okay, good hand. I mean, just both these, like, you know, we have to wait till round four before we play Jinx. We have to wait till round five before we play Lux. But both these champions are just so good. I wish we didn't draw this Sky Cruiser, because that Sky Cruiser isn't any good. Think it fast. All right. Those two can combine. Take out one of those. Let's do two man draw card. Alright, this is where we get one of our six cost spells. 
for Vagar. Vagar, good. Good job, Vagar. Vagar is better whenever we just get free spell mana each round, too. But we don't have to, like, that... Uh, that card essentially cost zero mana, that darkness. Man, this is so sad. <laughs> Round start, our weakest enemy gets um, plus three, plus three, but then it also gets stunned. Why'd they stun the Vagar? The Vagar's already stunned. <laughs> AI, what are you doing? Alright, so that's the first one for Jace. Pushing my limit. No more holding back. Ooh. No, my Nexus. <laughs> this is the cutting edge of progress. We're gonna have so many final sparks. Only I can quell the wind. Why why are you stunning the thing that's already stunned? Hey, show me that again. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty cool. We get to play, you know, three six mana spells in one round, or three six mana spells. I think I said one mana, six mana spells. All right, we got life steal. Good, heal that nexus. Um, I guess no. I guess it is better just to use two of these to kill that. Oh, you got augment. <laughs> And there we go. Back to 30. Did we win? This makes this a lot easier having that free spell mana. Each round. Okay. I guess we just... Oh, this is even the champion item. But we can have Vagar draw a card or Jinx have plus one, plus three. I think I'll just take a five, six Jinx. I like that. Oh, man. Remembrance heals my Nexus, though? Man, that's honestly really good. Especially because that works so well with like two, you know, two of my champions, and then also because we get the free spell man all the time, so we want more spells. So having more remembrances is actually good. All right, I'm sorry, Jinx. We're gonna we'll go ahead and take that. We'll go ahead and have our remembrance heal our nexus. Um, but now our champion item doesn't even hit Jace, our our OG champion. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So we can have uh, we get to choose one of these and then put it on one of them. Um, I guess tough is better than plus one plus one. And so we'll give Jinx tough. Or we give Lux tough. Those are the two champions that we want to just stay out all the time. I guess I'll just give it to Jinx. Epic. I could I could definitely see giving it to Lux though. When you cast a spell, reduce my cost by one. So it's not a great power to have on a J stack because we want it to still cost exactly six. Thermogenic beam will summon a follower from the regions. That's not bad. Because so like, let's let's choose that so that like if we play six mana thermogenic beam, we'll just summon a follower. Let's choose that. That's pretty good. Now, we went and bought the reroll token. I'm also going to just use the reroll token. It's like we're almost at the end of the end of the thing and this this item shop, this is an epic item shop. Um, let's just go and use the reroll token here and just see what else we get. All right, so this has 
when you cast summon a follower from my region. So we just summon two followers for every thermogenic beam? Alright, I guess. We're just going to run out of room. You know, like on the board, but... I guess. Do we want a champion with unspeakable horror? That doesn't sound bad. Sure. We'll take more one mana unspeakable horrors to draw champions. Sure. Okay, so we used all of our coins, basically. <laughs> Still worse than the pre, pre nerf tri uh, beam. That's funny. All right, uh, we got a card shop over here and a used cask salesman. Well, I just used all like my coins, so we don't really need to go towards the shop, right? Because that that requires coins. So let's go this way. When one of their allies is supported, grant it plus one plus one, and its supporters keywords. That's no big deal. That's not very scary. We'll go that way. Nice. Zoran says I opened a diamond chest and got four champions and two epics. That's amazing. No, there's no 13 cost minions. 10's as high as they go. We're going to keep this hand with Lux, Lux and Spells. Alright, I really hope they play something. Come on, play something. Do it. Do it. Yes. Because, like, look at this. Round one, we get to deal four. Because we get our spell mana. So now we get two four drops. Okay, not the best four drops. We could get two zero drops also. I could have just played the other one. <laughs> but then we have the power that gets plus three, plus three this round. Alright, we'll do five of this thing. Get two five drops. <laughs> That doesn't really seem fair. Boom. Um, could Remembrance for five, but I'll just go ahead and Vagar. Get this darkness going. Yeah, that was pretty silly. The thermo Our thermogenic beams are insane now. So that is that is a good lesson to learn, though. You can use your rerolls immediately. As you saw, like, we bought the reroll in that shop and then used it again in that shop. You, you do have that ability to do that, if you didn't know about that. No, Arbiter, Arbiter of the Peak is 10 mana. There's like the Watcher, which costs more than 10, but that's not like an actual card you can put, put into your deck, so you, you can't get that. But all those, there's a lot of those 10 mana cards that have the cost reduction, like Arbiter of the Peak and Scuttlegeist, I think. That's the name of the card. Plaza Guardian, there's, there's a bunch of those. Okay, Remembrance can now grant the top ally in our deck plus six, plus six. That sounds good to me. We'll go ahead and take that. All right, and what's this used cast salesman all about? Sell all copies of a card from your deck. Yes, I can sell the Sky Cruiser. That Sky Cruiser's El Terrible. All right, we do not need to heal. Let's just go ahead and leave. And we got final boss time with Ezreal. So their ability, um, it's just ability name. Is this like, is this supposed to have like an actual name, but they forgot to name it and they just had ability name as like a placeholder and they, but then forgot about it. That's what it looks like. So ability name is like, it could just be called like barrage. Anyway. All right. So all of their, all of Ezreal spells cost one mana. Okay. Every spell they play is just one mana. And then they also have Round Start create a Static Shock in hand, you know, Fleeting Static Shock. But if they've leveled a champion, then that turns into a True Shot Barrage. Okay, ability name. Here we go, let's draw those Thermogenic Beams. 
All right, no thermogenic beams. I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan all of that. Kind of looking for thermo beam. I like the unspeakable horror though. It will draw a champion, and it only costs one mana, and we have like a lot of mana right away. But thermo is like the best card in our deck. Yes, the one fine thermo. Um. I know they'll probably play something, right? Happy to do whatever's needed. Sleeper apprentice. Okay, now I'll just play this. Alright, we're just gonna kinda play a little bit more of a straight up game. Kayla says, I finished collecting the lab champs. Do you think Echo or Caitlyn are good champs starting out? Yeah. Yes, I do think that they are pretty good champs just to have. Absolutely. Um, yeah, they're both good. I think Caitlyn's probably a little better. We just got the exact same 6-drop. Dude, Towering Stonehorn. I don't take damage from enemy spells or skills. Like, how great is that? She's not going to take any damage. Nice static shock. <laughs> okay, that's pretty ridiculous. This is glorious. All right, so I know I don't get the nightfall on the unspeakable horror. We'll still go and draw a champion from it, but I want to play another six mana thermo beam. So taking away their blocker, six mana thermo beam. We'll get two more six drops. Hey, you have Scout? That's cool. Alright, so you don't get any play abilities or anything. Yeah, I know. My Thermos are great. Rally? Wow. Okay. Wait. I can't play both those right now, can I? Hmm. Because we want to end on... I guess I've already used... I've already used healing, though. So will I... If we end at 30, will I get S skill? I still don't really know how those skills work. I don't know if we'll get S skill or not. Hopefully they won't cast a Static Shock. Hopefully they just let us end at 30. A for a lot of no! Don't hit my Nexus. Don't hit my Nexus. No, are you kidding me? You jerk. Does this kill them? It does. Hmm. Oh, you jerk. And they don't even, like, kill any of my things to, like, keep them alive. Like, what are you doing here? Why are you Mystic Shotting my Nexus? Just, like, Mystic Shot, like, one of these things. And so then I can also shoot it and to make sure it's so you can stay alive so I can play this other Remembrance. Alright, well, guess we can't stay at 30. Yeah, <laughs> AI's trolling? Yeah, they are trolling, aren't they? They're like, no, no, no S rating. Uh, yeah, no S rating for you. So, of course, we could have won the previous round if I would have just played the Golden Ages, but I tried to end it at 30 health. Alright, let's get those reputation points. Level up our Jace adventure complete. And so now we get a new rare relic item. Every time you beat Ezreal again with any character, you get a rare relic item. What is this? When I survive damage, grant me plus two, plus zero. Oh, plus two, plus two. That's even better. Okay. Okay. That's actually really good. That's a really good relic item for the champion. Cool. See, A on health, because we ended at 25 health instead of 30. Wow. AI just trolling us. All right, so our run said that it took 36 minutes, but I think like 25 of those 36 was like that one game, <laughs> or at least the two games. 
Alright, so now we can cut cards at the healer. Awesome, because Jace has... Um, that's a really good thing to have, because Jace does have some of those cards we really want to cut. And we got a new starting power. Whenever you summon an ally, grant it plus one plus zero for each six plus cost spell in your hand. Alright, good to know. Okay, so those are going to be our new powers and everything for our next adventure, which will be Zed. Zed's going to be our next one that we'll go ahead and try. All right, but that's going to be it for the Ezreal adventure. So we were successful. It looked pretty sketchy to start with. That really was tough. Those first few, like that Eye of the Dragon fight, that one took forever. But then we got like that double power on the thermogenic beam, and then those last couple were real easy after that and i'm really glad that we we chose the refill your spell mana all the time instead of the um the two one challenger each time we get the attack token uh, that choice really ended up being good but there we go that's gonna be uh the ezreal adventure with jace those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and leave those comments if you have any questions about it or anything let me know We're about to go record the z one up next and then it will be on to Nautilus. I know that people say that Nautilus is really tough, so we'll, we'll see uh, if we can get there. First, got to get past Zed. But anyway, that's going to be it, though, for Jace. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.